In today's video, we're going to learn about linear equations and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first part of linear equations. What is a linear equation? There are two things that you must remember. First, the power of the variable must be 1. Second, it must have the symbol equals to show the relationship between two quantities that have the same value. Let's look at the following example. Solve the following equation using the three methods. So the question is 2x plus 3 equals to 11. So we're going to find the value of x. Okay, so the first method is trial and improvement method. So for this, I'm going to substitute the x values into the left-hand side of the equation. So this is the left-hand side and this is the right-hand side. Okay, left-hand side is 2x plus 3 and right-hand side is 11. So by using trial and improvement method, we're going to substitute x equals to 1 and so on until we can get 11. Okay, we're going to substitute into the left-hand side. So it'll be 2 times 1 plus 3. Okay, so 2 times 1 plus 3 is equals to 5. So 5 is not 11. So therefore, x equals to 1 is not the answer. Let's try x equals to 2. So x equals to 2. Okay, so it'll be 2. So 2 plus 3. So this is 4 plus 3 equals to 7. 7 is not 11. So therefore, x equals to 2 is not the answer. So try x equals to 3. So it'll be 2 times 3 plus 3. Okay? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 also is not 11. So therefore, x, is, x equals to 3 is also not the answer. Let's try x equals to 4. So x equals to 4. Okay? So 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. Ha! Ah, so we got the answer already. Okay? So thus, okay, x is equal to 4 and that's the answer. Okay? Let's try equality concept. Okay, for this, I'm going to use some pink color. Okay? So equality concept, first thing is to write down the question. So it will be 2x plus 3 equals to 11. Okay? Let's look at both sides. Okay, so for this, 2x plus 3, and then there's an 11 on the right. So on the left, there's a plus 3. Then we have to eliminate it. So how to eliminate it? So I'm going to add, okay, I'm going to minus 3 for both sides. Then the 3 will be eliminated, okay? So it'll be 2x equals to, so 11 minus 3 is 8. Okay, and then next is, I'm going to eliminate 2. So how? Okay, I just have to divide it by 2 for both sides. Okay, so therefore, x is equal to 4. So we got the answer already. Okay, and the third method is backtracking method. So for this, I'm going to use another color, green. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to write down the question also, which is 2x plus 3 equals to 11. Okay, so how to find, okay, so how to find x? Huh? So x for according to this equation, according to this equation, okay, x you have to times 2 first, and then you have 2 plus 3, and then you will get equals to 11, right? Okay, so now we do backwards. So 11 equals to, okay, so here we have to minus 3, and then we divide it by 2, and then we will get x, okay? So x is equals to, Okay, so I'm going to use 11 minus 3 first. After that, I divide it by 2. Okay, so 11 minus 3 is 8. And 8 divided by 2, you will get 4. So x is equal to 4. Okay, so that is the final answer. Okay, among these three methods, okay, the best method is backtracking method because this method is the shortest and the simplest and also the fastest way to get the answer. Okay, so if they didn't mention any method to use, then it's better for you to use backtracking method for all your questions involving linear equations. What are linear equations in two variables? 
So linear equations in two variables, it means that the power for each variable is 1 and the linear equations have two variables. Let's look at this example. Write two possible pairs of solutions for each of the following equations. So the first one, a, x plus y is equal to 7 and b is y minus 2 equals to 5x. Okay, let's solve a first, okay? So for this, I'm going to substitute when x equals to 1 and find the y, respective y value, okay? So x, when x is equal to 1, okay, I'm going to substitute 1 into the x here, okay, to find y. So 1 plus, okay, in bracket because I'm substituting, okay, y and it's equal to 7. So y is equal to, so this 1, I'm going to shift over to the right hand side, it becomes minus, okay. So 7 minus 1 and it's equal to 6. So y equals to 6, okay. So therefore, is 1, 6, okay? We write in a coordinate pair form, yeah? 1, 6, okay? Let's try. Okay, when x equals to 2, okay? So when x equals to 2, so I'm going to substitute x equals to 2 into the x, so 2 plus y equals to 7. So y equals to, I'm going to shift the 2 over to the right hand side, become minus. 7 minus 2, okay, so y is equal to 5, okay, so therefore, the solution is 2, 5, okay, let's try for b, yeah, but for b, okay, let's try when x is equal to 1, I'm going to substitute the 1 into here, okay, so y minus 2 equals to 5 times 1, Okay, so y minus 2 equals to 5. Okay, so next is I'm going to shift the negative 2 over to the right hand side, become positive 2. Okay, so therefore y is equal to 7. And the solution is 1, 7. Okay, let's try another pair. I'm going to use red. Okay, so when x is equal to 2, okay? So, y minus 2, so 5 times 2, okay? So, it will be y minus 2 equals to 10. And then, after that, I'm going to shift the negative 2 over to the right-hand side at plus 2. So, y equals to 10 plus 2. So, therefore, I will get y equals to 12. And the solution is 2, 12. That's the answer. How do you solve simultaneous linear equations in two variables? There are three methods that you can use. First is the graphical method. Second is substitution method. And third is elimination method. Okay, let's look at the first method, which is graphical method. Solve the following simultaneous equation using graphical method. So here, there are two equations given x plus y equals to 6 and 2x plus y equals to 8, okay? So let's say the graph is not given, okay? So I'm going to find the respective x and y so that I can join the coordinates together to form a straight line. So let's say this is x, okay, y. So when x equals to 0, what is a y? Okay, so when x equals to 0, my y is equal to 6. So I have my first coordinate, which is 0, 6, okay? So next is, I find when my y equals to 0, what is my x? So I'm going to substitute into the equation. So it'll be x plus, now y is 0, okay, equals to 6. So my x is equals to 6, so 6 here. So I get a coordinate, okay, which is 6, 0, okay? So I'm going to plot this and this into the graph, here and here. And then I'm going to join them with a ruler so that it becomes a straight line, okay? And then I'm going to solve for the next equation, which is 2x plus y equals to 8. Using the same way, I need to get two coordinates to form a straight line. So linear means straight line, okay? So x, y. So when my x is equal to 0, what is my y? And when my y is equal to 0, what is my x? Okay? So this is to get the x and y intercepts so that we can join them together to form a straight line, okay? So when x equals to 0, so it will be 2, 0, 2 times 0, plus y equals to 8, okay? So my y is equals to 8, so 8 here, 
So I will get a coordinate which is 0, 8. Okay, next, when my y is equal to 0, what is my x? Okay, so 2x plus 0 equals to 8. So 2x is equals to 8. Okay, so x is equals to 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I get another coordinate, okay, which is 4, 0. Okay, so I'm going to plot this and this into the graph and then I will get, okay, 0, 8 is over here, okay, and then 4, 0 is over here. So I join them together, okay? So and then after that, to find the solution, we see the intersecting point. So where is the intersecting point? The intersecting point is here, okay? So therefore, from the graph, okay, the solution is, I'm going to write over here. Okay, so from the graph drawn, okay, the point of intersection is 2, 4. Okay, so we see this one, this is 2 and this is 4. Can you see or not? Okay, 2, 4. So this is 2, 4. This is the point of intersection. Okay, then thus the solution is x equals to 2 and y equals to 4. So that is the final answer. Let's look at the following question. Solve the following simultaneous equation using substitution method. So there are two equations given here. So the first one is x plus 4y equals to 14. I'm going to take this as equation 1. And next is 3x plus 2y equals to 12. So this is equation number 2. And then I'm going to use the first equation, okay, whereby I'm going to make x as a subject. So 14 minus 4y is equation 3. Okay, so next I'm going to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. Okay, so x. 3x plus 2y equals to 12. This is from equation 2. So I'm going to substitute equation. Okay, I'm going to use color. This into here. Okay, so this is substitution method. So be 3 bracket 14 minus 4y plus 2y and it's equals to 12. Okay, so now I'm going to expand this. So 3 times 14 is 42. So 42 here, minus 3 times 4y is 12y. Okay, so plus 2y equals to 12. Okay, so be 42, so negative 12y plus 2y is negative 10y, okay, equals to 12. Okay, so I'm going to shift this negative 10y over to the right hand side so that it becomes positive 10y and then this 12 I'm going to shift over to the left hand side it becomes 42 minus 12 Okay, so 42 minus 12 is equals to 30 Okay, so equals to 10y So to find y, okay, I'm going to shift this 10 over to the left hand side become 30 divided by 10 so 30 divided by 10, okay, and my y is 3, okay, and then after that, we have to substitute this y equals 3 back into equation 3 to find the value of x. So from equation 3, x is equals to 14 minus 4y, okay, so equals to 14 minus 4 times 3, okay, so 14 minus so 4 times 3 is equal to 12, okay? So therefore, x is equal to 2, okay? So lastly, I'm going to write a conclusion whereby, okay? So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So this is the final answer, okay? Let's look at the next question. Solve the following simultaneous equation using elimination method. 
So here it's given two equations, okay? So 3m minus 2n equals to 19. So this is equation 1. And 5m plus 7n equals to 11. This one equation 2. Okay, so from here, I will make this and this to be equal to 15m and then we can use elimination method. Okay, so from 1, okay, so to make the 3m become 15m, I have to multiply by 5. It means that all the terms I have to multiply by 5. Okay, so 3m times 5, you will get 15m. Then minus 2, 2n times 5 is 10n. Okay, and then 19 times 5 is 95. Okay, so I have this equation 3. Okay, then from equation 2, okay, in order for 5m to make it become 15m, I have to times 3 for all the terms. Okay, so times 3. So 5m times 3 is 15m plus 7n times 3 is 21n. So equals to 11 times 3 is 33. So this is equation 4. Okay? So now we can do elimination method. Okay? So draw a line. So 15m, okay, I'm going to use mm, minus, okay, because if I use minus, I will get rid of 15m and 15m. Okay, I'm going to use equation 3 minus equation 4. Okay, so 15m minus 15m will get 0. Okay, and negative 10n, you minus 21n, you will get negative 31n. And then 95 minus 33, you will get 62. Okay, so to find n, I have to use 62 divided by negative 31. And therefore, my n is negative 2. Okay. And then next, we have to find what is the m, okay? So I'm going to substitute n equals to negative 2 into equation 1 or 2, but I'll choose 1, okay? So substitute n equals to negative 2 into equation 1. So it will be 3m minus 2 and the n is negative 2, okay, equals to 19. So 3m plus 4 equals to 19. So 3m equals to, so positive 4 shift over to the right hand side, it becomes 19 minus 4, okay? So it becomes 15. So 3m is 15. To find m, okay, I'm going to divide it by 3. So 3m, so the 3 shift over to the right hand side, it becomes divided by 3. Okay, so m is equals to, so 15 divided by 3 is 5, okay? So therefore, my m is equals to 5, and n is equal to negative 2. So that's my final answer. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to my next video, which is how to solve problems involving linear equations, coming up soon. Bye!